Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to, I'm going to show you how to make a pom-pom blanket. Okay everyone, so I've got my three balls of wool. I've got three 100 gram, let me get this in the picture, three 100 gram balls of wool. I'm going to drop those on the floor just like that. And then I've got a piece that's all rolled. I'm just going to throw that down there. Now what you need to do is you need to start with this nail here. So that's the second nail up. Now we're going to tie, we're just going to tie our wool onto this nail, round this nail. You need to go up You need to go up to the top of the frame, like this. Just pull your wheel tight and then go around the next one. I can't stretch like that. So you need to go down and then up and down, just like that then up and then down all the way along back and forward so down one nail and along the next down one nail so you've got a little gap here and you've got your wool here And when you get to this corner, you need to go up the corner and then come back and go down the other way. Just like we did before. back along and then when you get to this next corner it's the same as at the beginning just go round the corner peg and then up the next one and around and down and what we're going to do is we're filling in the gaps can you see the gaps from before When you get to the corner, this one, so it's around the corner and then up this nail. And then what we'll be doing is we're going to fill in all these gaps that are left. And that should bring us right back to the beginning. Okay everyone, so I'm going to go around my frame one more time. So that means I went around my frame three times with three balls of wool at the same time. So it's down and around the bottom one. And down and around the bottom up and around at the top so that's done. I've now got 18 strands on this each. So, so far the frame's standing up okay and I've got a rule on okay. So I'm going to get my other colour ready and then I'm going to put that on the top. So I'm going to do four layers on the top if I can get them on my nails. I've got four 100 gram balls of wool. So uh, apparently I have to put four strands on at a time. I'm going to throw them down on the floor. I may get into a bit of a muddle and a mess with this. So once again, I'm going to start, I'm going to start in this corner. 
we'll tie on securely now I have to keep all my wool pushed down on my nails so it doesn't pop off we'll find out if I've made the nails big enough so again like when we've done the base I'm going to do the same as the base I'm going to put three layers on just to see how it goes so we go around this pin and up up this pin and then down this pin and then up this pin and then down this pin and up this pin when it, once I've got a couple of layers on I'll get back to you with that okay three times I've went around it with four strands of wool now I'm going to zoom in Because the next thing you have to do is you need to tie in, you need to tie in where all these are. You've got to tie them all in together in a cross shape. And then we're going to tie in all these squares. And that's going to tie our blanket together. I'm going to show you how to tie off these cross parts. Now what you need is I'm using a double piece of wool and then you just slip it under this way. You can get little gadgets that you make that you can attach your wool to. But I've got mine resting on the table so I can't use the little gadget that I've got. So all you do is you pull it really tight and then tie it in a couple of knots. And then what I do, you keep it the same size as what my pom-pom's going to be. Just bring it over here a little bit and then just snip it sort of halfway in level with that. Now we've done that one that way. Now we need to do this one this way. You've got to do it both ways to keep all the pom-pom together when we cut through here. We're going to cut in the middle of here here, here and here to make a pom-pom so we've got to make sure we tie it in both diagonals to keep all the pom-pom pieces and the base now this wool's gone right underneath the base and then you pull it really tight now what I'm going to suggest as well you get really painful at the side of your fingers with pulling this nylon wool so it would be until you get used to it I would put some bandages and um, some until you get used to it I would put some plasters or something across these parts of your fingers because you do end up with blisters and getting friction burns off this wool now I'll move it along a little bit to the next one and I'll show you again so you just slip it diagonal through right through to the other side like that then tie it in your knot, tie it tight as you can and then I just tie it another twice and then trim it about that amount and then we're going to do it that way so just slip it under And then we're going to tie it in a knot, pull it tight. And this is what we're going to do to every cross that's in our board. Okay everyone, so this is the middle of our blanket. What you need to do now is, after we've tied right around underneath with the base, and the yellow top you tie around here 
and I put three knots in it and you tie it around here and I still put three knots in it. Now what I did was I used a double amount of wool. I just doubled my wool and then I tied it around. Now what you're going to do is to make the pom-poms you need to cut down the middle here, down here, here and here and it's these areas that make your pom-pom around where you've tied it. Each of these parts where you've tied it is going to be a pom-pom. Okay? So what you need to do is you just go cut in the middle. Don't cut the your base colour. So my base colour is white, so I need to make sure I don't cut through that. Don't cut your edges. Don't don't do these. Don't do your edges. Leave these parts alone and these parts. Leave these to the very end. I'll show you that in a few minutes. Where is it? That one here. This one here. So you just cut through your yellow halfway, th halfway between this one and this one. Cut all your yellow. Now, don't worry too much if you maybe accidentally cut one of your base colour, but don't cut through lots of it or your blanket will just fall to pieces. So that's that one done. So as you can see, your little pom-poms are starting to form already. And then you just need to cut halfway through on this side. And you do this to your whole blanket, but don't do the edges until the very very end and do you the corners last so now we're going to cut we've cut through that one and we've cut through that one so we're going to cut through this one now this is the very first time i've made one of these so it is very experimental on my part at least the looms worked anyway and the loom video there is a video on how to make the loom for this if you want a denser pom-pom, then you would just do more of your wool, of your, your top colour of wool, as long as it's going to hold on to your nails. There's one more little yellow there. So there you go, that's one, one little pom-pom. You can tidy it up as you go along. Now, as you cut these, the tension will get less and when you take it totally out of the frame it will shrink in, it will shrink in a bit so even though your frame is 31 by 23 and a half your blanket is going to shrink in at least I think by about 2 inches I'll find out once I've got all this done so now we move on to the next one and you just snip carefully through the centre of all your, your top colour. I know I should have thought a little bit more for showing you this that my top colour is yet it's lemon. So there we go, there's two pom poms done. So as you can see, this is what's going to happen to your pom-poms. Now they will go together a little bit once it's totally off the frame and all the pom-poms are cut. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to continue. How do I get that back into the frame again? There we go. So I'm going to continue around my board and I'm going to cut around all the pom-poms and I'll come back and I'll show you that. Okay everyone, so as you can see I've done all the pom-poms on the blanket. Now we're going to tackle the sides here. Don't do these just now. We're going to go all around the board and we're going to cut through these ones here. 
Now just cut them in almost in line with your, your wood that's down in here that you can see. And that should keep your pom-pom quite uniform because all this stuff's going to come away that you don't need. So this is all your base colour, eh, all your pom-pom colour that you're cutting off. Don't cut your white just yet. Don't cut your base colour that's on the bottom. Just cut through the pom-poms like this. Just your pom-pom colour. So we're only cutting through the pom-pom colour, we're not cutting through the base colour because it's the base colour that makes your fringe. So I'm going to do this all the way around the frame, just cutting the pom-pom colour. So it's just all nice and uniform. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Ooh. All our pom-pom colour is now cut off the frame. Now all we have left is our base colour. Now all these parts are the base colour. Now these are the parts that are going to make the fringe. I missed a little bit there. Now these are the parts that are going to make the fringe, these parts. Don't cut through the base here. Cut it here. Don't cut this part because when you cut these, this will unravel. So you need to cut it in the middle and this becomes your fringe. Now I'll show you that in just a little minute. I'm going to go up to this edge first and I'm going to start here. Now don't do the corners. Don't, don't do the corners. Leave the corners on just now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut through all the middle of your white ones like this. Just cut through the middle. Now as you can see that makes the frame. This makes your little frill frame all the way around your blanket. Now you'll see the pom-poms moving in. They're moving a little closer in as well. Don't do the corners because you need the corners just to hang on to it. Just to give it that little bit of tension until you get all these side parts cut. Now I'm going to turn my frame and then I'm going to cut through the centre of all of these. You can hear it pinging in so it's starting to loosen itself in. And the little pom-poms will all tighten up together. We'll give it a good shake when we get it off the frame. So you just keep turning your frame. Leave the corners till the end. It's getting very loose anyway. So just cut through all, all these right through the centre. Oh, I'm very impressed with this. I really am. Now, what we're going to do is, that's it all coming free, as you can see. Now, on the corners, you just do the same at the corners. Just cut it in the middle here and in the middle there. We'll loosen all this bit in a little minute. This is just where we tied all the knots. We'll go to the other corner and I'm just going to loosen all of that. Now there we go. Now, there we are. Well, I am so impressed with this. This is my very first pom-pom blanket. Now, this is the back of it. As you can see, you've got all your little crosses. They're what, help, they're what hold the pom-poms on. And you can fix all your little fringes. 
just give it a little shake and all those little bits will come loose. Well, I am so, so chuffed with this. So, so chuffed. I'll try and I'll bring the camera up a little bit so you can see the whole blanket. Love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I am really, really pleased with it. Now, it is a really, really nice lemon and white. It might not show so well on the camera, but this is what the back looks like. I'm absolutely amazed. I really, really am. I'm just so chuffed with myself that I better shut up because they say pride comes before a fall. It'll probably fall to pieces, but <laughs> I, I don't think so. I think it's absolutely amazing. So I'll be back in a few seconds. I'm going to put the camera up a bit higher so that you can actually see the whole lot of this pom-pom blanket. Okay, everyone, I still can't get my camera high enough to actually show you this blanket, but I'm going to do the best I can. Now, on the floor, I do have a lot of the scrap wool that we cut off when we took it off the frame. Now, this is rough. this is what it looks like. And I'm, I'm, I'm just so, so pleased with it. I really, really am. This is the back like I showed you already. I think it's turned out absolutely, it's great. I just, I think it's lovely. And I am, I just can't stop saying it. I'm really so chuffed with it because it's the first time I've made one of these. And I think it's turned out great. But I, I'm just... I love it. I actually, I, I really, I'm, I'm really chuffed with it. I know there'll be a lot of people who make these pom pom blankets out there saying, "Oh my gosh, Alison, you should have put more wool on it." Well, maybe I should have put more wool on it, but for a first time, I mean, come on, I mean, look at it. It's really, really pretty, and for a first time, it's just, I love it. I just, I can't stop saying it. Uh, so here we go, Sandra. <laughs> I never mentioned my sister Sandra on this video at all, but now I am. And look what I made, and it's wool. It's really, it's wool. I don't knit and I don't crochet, but by gosh, I can weave. I can really, I can do this. Look at this. I love it. I just, I really do. I do like it, and I'm really chuffed that it's turned out. I'm going to, what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to put some of the ribbon on it. And I'm going to do it all really nice and I'm going to post it up to my sister Sandra because Sandra works in a nursing home and they're always looking for things that they can raffle and things that they can sell in their little craft fairs when they do a craft fair and I think there's one coming up quite soon so I'm going to put some ribbon on this I'll take some pictures and let you see it ladies and gents and I'm going to post it up to Sandra and so that she can put it in her nursing home for a raffle or something because a lot of the time they do need help with extra cash for helping the their the residents to getting them some entertainment and things like that they're just always looking for extra help to help with that and this is my little offering thank you all very much for watching and i do hope that you'll take the time and give this a little try it's a really good pastime and once you've got past tying all the knots, it does work out really, really, it's, be it's, it's beautiful, it's pretty and I like it and it's it's nice and warm as well. So actually, um, I might actually think about making a bigger frame. But what you can do with this, before you go actually, what you can do is, if you don't cut one side, if you don't do the frills so long, you can actually tie two of these together or you can tie four or so. You can make these this size and you can join them together. If you join them together here at the, at the edge or even at the bottom, you can join these together and make a nice big blanket. It'd be a nice snuggly blanket, wouldn't it? But anyway, 
Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all again for my next tutorial. And I won't go on so much, I promise. So I'm not even going to cut this video. I'm going to keep all this blather and rubbish in because um, I, I just want you to... I just... It's... I'm lost for words. I really am. I mean, I've forgotten what it feels like to actually be so chuffed about making something that you've never tried before and and give it a go. Just give it a try. It's, it's lovely. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.